Hey guys, welcome back to Mass uh, Reach and Flexibility, and I'm your host, Spy These People. I just got a message from my wife. I've been listening to my daughter's giggle over and over. <laughs> That's so cute. When this mission is over, I'm gonna give her the longest hug she's ever had. Can I have a hug? Uh, we, we haven't done her mission. Uh, I mean, we can talk to her anyways. Maybe she's got something. I hope we can go uh, to Omega. I'll soon. think about that. Of course. Remind me what you wanted. She's literally in the middle of telling me what she wanted. Go to Omega, motherfucker. Do I have anything else to talk to with Kasumi? There you are. Oh, Jesus. Alright, no. Guess we never did talk to Miranda again. Or, or we didn't look at her butt again. The real reason we're in here. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket. I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me. Which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. You know where she is. You can get in touch if you change your mind. It would be a mistake. I'd be risking her safety for my own selfish reasons. No better than my father. It was never a temptation until I saw her. I'll just have to keep my distance. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. I feel like I'm talking to a rabbit. With the buck teeth. It's gonna go in there one day. She's gonna be chewing on a carrot. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Or Shepard or whatever. It would not be out of character at all. Alright. Uh, Jack still wants me to do her shit. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. So it looks like we can't continue any dialogue with these characters until, um, until we do more shit with them. But that's okay. So I'm not even going to bother wasting my time with Jack. I wonder what if the two engineers have something to say, actually. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. Yeah, we've heard this one. haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hand, it could taste like... Mighty fine ass. Alright. You good grunt? Erd not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him. To tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. I need you to stay in line, Grunt. If you can't stay focused, you're a danger. I'd never stab you in the back, Shepard. Warriors like you and me, straight to the face. Kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? The humans talk too much. Like the tank. That's all Shepard. for now. Shepard. Alright. Well, I guess that's everybody. Fuck, we gotta do Jacob's mission, don't we? God damn it, I just remembered he existed. I haven't heard him in a while. So, here's the thing. We have a, I'm, I might as well just do loyalty missions. I know I'm, I went to the place with the Reaper IFF. Um, 
but I might as well just do the rest of the loyalty missions, I think. Alright, let's go help some of our not-so-favorite um, allies. I'll do Jack. I'm also gonna do one thing. Alright. I'm not sure if that fucked up my recording, but it probably didn't. Uh, we also have to scan every planet here. Fuck. I'll just help Jack out. I don't care. Alright. Let's go do your shit. More loyalty missions. Alright, well we have to bring her along. We've got no choice. Eh, I guess we'll bring along Garrus. I like Garrus. He's got also got armor piercing rounds too, which is really nice. Alright, you got warp ammo eventually. I think I would kind of like you to have that, to be honest. That seems really nice. I, I would like to try that out, so I don't really want to spend any of her points on anything. Yeah, I, that's a that's a problem. Is all of her all of her points are fucking worthless anyway? So fuck it. And right, what do you have here? Hand cannon and salt shotgun. Uh, see, I I don't really want to read with all this shit. Like, like oh, it, it dramatically. I guess it's more aerodynamic. Whatever. Fuck. Like, dude, like, I, all I wanted was some quick and easy read stats. I don't know why, like, who the fuck ever thought it was a good idea for me to read, like, a paragraph of that shit. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. When we start a mission, we finish it. Yeah, okay. Let's get on the ground. Could do your shit so you're in Mass Effect 3. Is there nothing over here, really? Eh, I guess not. Alright, well, let's go, fellas. Time to go on a merry adventure. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. A very odd mission that you've asking of us right now, Jack. Oh, it's spooky. Lock terminal. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is unbelievable. I mean, really, we only have her word on that, like. Uh, all we see are fucking boxes, and actually most of this game has been boxes, Garrus, so... I mean, she's crazy. Not saying I don't believe it, but you gotta be a little bit skeptical. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew... He won't find out. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get... All right. Well, sounds like this facility went rogue. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. All right. Well, that might be evidence, Kara. So now, now there's a reason to be horrified. There you I go. I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. And and you let him go, right? Because he was no threat. Yep. That's uh, probably exactly what happened. A little bit of credits. Oh, okay, we're now out up here. Wow. Is this a friend of yours? Were there Baron here last time you were here? My allies. Coming. You got it. 
Why is it every time there's Varen, they're just like nowhere to be seen? I think someone has, someone has the spooks for Varen. Old bloodstain something. Oh, there. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here, pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Completely psycho. Oh yeah. Easy 100 credits. Those little rewards. And Gareth's face to the door, I think. Security Officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. It looks like there was a lot you didn't know. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. What kind of guns do we all have? Yeah, you, you get can't. a incisor rifle. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Oh, find him in this behind this door. Oh no, they're not here. Oh well. All right, well, let's go get the skeletons out of your closet. They've seen it. Pyros. Oh, that would be a, a Krogan. I think we're gonna go do our anti-Krogan rifle. Oh good, you actually used your abilities. Firing a high impact shot! But I want a high impact shot. Well, likely this is a one shot wonder, so. Get him off you? Mm. Uh, you fell, what the fuck? Alright, this is too many skeletons in your closet for me to deal with, honestly. This was a small facility. I'm saying, some sick son of a bitch killed a lot of kids with these experiments and then checked his work. Bullshit. I had the worst of it and I made it out alive. Another door to bypass. Oh, that is the objective, so let's go this way. Yeah, CPDA. 3,000 credits. Ah. So strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch. But then I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. We've been spotted. She seems, she seems to think really highly of herself, though. I'm a dangerous bitch, guys. Don't cut yourself on that edge. Ah. Uh. So glad that she's using her abilities on almost dead Baron. I mean, what else can they do? They kept the children here. 
I guess so. Man, we should have brought in fucking Grunt along. He would have had the best commentary. This it's a two-way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Now we know why. It's because they hate you. I hate you, honestly. Why are we here? Get me out of this place. I must have come through here when I broke out. But I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. This whole place was built to turn you into what you are. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. You couldn't have known. Maybe. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Now what's this? Oh boy, biotic damage. Don't mind if I don't. Alright, and I don't think there's anything else here. So, really, we're just confirming she's just a fucking edgelord. And that's that's something what the king can solve, I guess. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. You're in my way. Get them! Kill them on my own. I'm back. I'll take out the leader. Because they always target me, so it's only fair. Does he actually use his uh, arm, uh, arm piercing rounds? Weapons already using his ammo. Dude, he's like strafing back and forth. What a baller. Because of Shot Warder. <laughs> Why is he just fucking scraping? Oh my god. Oh god. My mouse. Dude, they all do that though. Okay, we have no more ammo. You have problems? This is the compliance department. Come on over. Only room left is my old cell. Whoever Aresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. The thing is, I think he was a shotgun user and he just he did not go near me at all. Uh, 
I, I, I'm not going to lie, the more I play through this game, the more I realize that the AI is just simply not suited to deal with uh, Infiltrator. I mean, they did it in the in the DLC, the the one, the Vanguard that actually used Vanguard abilities to try and kill me. But I, I hate to say it, as far as combat goes, these are a lot of really low effort bosses. They're just, they just have more health, but they have the exact AI as the regular enemies. And they're buggy as hell. Like, they were just moving back and forth. I didn't do anything. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Why did you come back? I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth, or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough! Are you nuts? You lived it! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that! You're here to erase your past. He's part of that. I... shit. Is this right? Will killing him fix my head? You're a killer, Jack. That's what you do. Yeah. That felt... good. Holy shit, I just fucking encouraged it. I just- I, I would like the fucking red text do it. Fucking... <laughs> oh, this kicks ass. A bullet in the head solves everything. I know that now. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. Take uh, Jack around her cell. To a mirror. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Got everything? Tell us about the sink. Old, some old blood smear. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Yeah, it's a uh, 
Yeah, you gave the crazy person a fucking detonator, yeah. Well, I guess we got warp ammo with her now. Commander, Jack and Miranda are in the middle of a... disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. My opinion is the one that matters. You two keep a deck apart at all times. She can't be trusted, Shepard. She'll jeopardize the whole mission. If we survive this, you two can tear each other apart. Until then, save your hate for the Collectors. She'll survive. I'll make sure of it. Then, I'll tear you apart myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Uh, that was disappointing. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Dude, Jack just tried to kill you. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, she has a fucking memory of a goldfish. Oh, God. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approved of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. I do not think you have anything interesting to tell me. Alright, let's just finish off with Jack. I, I, dude, I just, I, I love that. They're literally like, Jack's in the room throwing fucking chairs. I have to yell at them both. And fucking, I talked to Miranda right after. Yeah, this is the best operation I've ever been on. I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> Look at hell. 
Uh. <laughs> oh shit. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. You're not the only one with a past, Jack. Everyone has to deal. You know what? I like that. I piss and moan, and you say, grow the fuck up. That victim garbage, it's half me. I think I get that. There was only one other survivor from that place, and you killed him. It's the same thing as blowing the place up. Now I'm the only one who remembers what happened there. I want it gone. I want it all gone. It's only in my head, and when I die, it dies. I, I like how I, I. It sounds like I'm reprimanding her for like, like, like I'm, I'm basically like telling her off for killing him. But I'm the one who fucking said it. I don't want this affecting our mission. Can't kill all that bad shit so easy, I guess. Have to live with it, fucked up or not. The rest of the galaxy can deal. I don't care how you do it. This doesn't sidetrack us again. Understood? Yes, sir. Commander, sir. Whatever. Look, seriously, though, you did something for me and... Ah, shit. I'm not used to saying thanks. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. I should go. Okay. Talk later. Is there... Upgrades hey. that I haven't done? I picked up a lot of resources. I Can figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. Uh, it's not like I keep a lot. Right. Okay, talk later. Uh, yeah, I think I think we have everything. Yeah, there's only one crew member that has something that we may need at some point. But that's for never. Dude, I, I, don't, I don't know who we're going to bone in this, by the way. I was kind of hoping Liara, but that didn't happen for some reason. Maybe it happens later, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna talk to Joker though. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Fuck. I'll beat on the kid. Oh, uh, the drilled kid's doing okay. I don't know if your drill and mine are talking. Alright. Well, at least he's okay. At least I did the right thing, sort of. Alright. What's going on up here? Hey, Commander. Glad we figured out Jack is crazy, because I was really up in the air, just hanging there. Oh, shit. I assume everything is going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Man, those eyes... They're augmented. I think I'm at max, uh... I have to be at max Renegade. I'm all, almost there. Just another mission or two, and then, yeah. So close, guys. So freaking close. Man, I, I love that. I, dude, I love that, actually. It looks great. Actually, you don't, you don't see it half the time. It's only in cutscenes. Well, I mean, I look like an android from here. Okay, maybe, maybe you do see it. I swear they make it brighter in the cutscenes. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.